Hey guys, it's Drea. Today I have for you a very exciting video. This is a collab video that I'm doing with my friend Alex from One Beauty Addict. I have collaborated with her once before. She and I have become really good friends over Snapchat and uh, I'm very happy to call her a friend. She's just one of the most sweetest people in the world and she has a really great channel. She actually comes up with the most amazing original content, which is saying something for YouTube because, I mean, beauty, videos have been around on YouTube for years and it's so hard to think of original stuff and she does it. So if you've never checked her out before, I'm going to link her channel below and also her collaboration video with me for this video. Um, so what we decided to do, we both knew we were going to be getting this. This is the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette and we were talking about it. We thought it would be so much fun to each do a tutorial from this video from this video, from this palette, and one of us would take the saint side and one of us would take the sinner side. So if you've not seen this palette yet, basically it opens up and it's supposed to look like stained glass. This side over here is the saint side and this side over here is the sinner side. So I've taken the saint side of the palette for this video and she is taking the more colorful side, the sinner side, for her video. That way you get a couple really different looks. If you own this palette, you want ideas from it, you can go check out her video and you'll have at least two looks, one from each of us to look, uh, to look forward to, I guess. So this is obviously the look that I created using the saint side of the palette. It's a very fall appropriate look, so I thought that would be good for this time of year. I have used this palette now like six times, I think five times before this and then this one, and it is pretty versatile. So I will probably bring you more tutorials in the future if you're really interested in it, but I really like the saint side of the palette because it's very kind of everyday. And then you also have the center side of the palette, which is very colorful, so you can do some more out there looks with it. But I guess that's enough preamp let's get into the tutorial. So I'm going to start out with the Becca Blurring Primer. I'm on the verge of sneezing, but it just won't happen. So I don't know, it's bothering me now. This is a really, really nice primer for smoothing your pores. I've talked about it a lot recently. I just kind of put it in my T-zone where I have larger pores. I don't really need to put it all over my face. And I'm going to use the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This is one of my favorites. It's like a medium... I would say high medium coverage foundation. I like to use it with a beauty blender. I'm doing my base first because I just I just want to be able to blend better. I always find like when I do my um, my eyeshadow first, I can't really get the edges blended properly because I have to go in with my foundation afterwards. You know if that makes sense. I look like I've got foundation chicken pox or something. I'm going to color correct using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Peach and then my concealer is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer. That's in the shade 1C Light. And then I'm going to bake under my eye with the RCMA No Color Powder. This is going to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow so I'm going to apply it very heavily and then I can wipe it away later. And I'm going to set my foundation with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. So I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera. I recently did my whole eyebrow routine in a video, so I will link that below. So as I said before, I am going to be using the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. Can't get both of us in the frame at once. Um, so I have used this palette now about five times. And I have only stuck to this side because of this video. I've been trying to figure out what I want to do. And I have been struggling and struggling and struggling. And I think that's really because there's no mid-tone brown. There's no mid-tone matte brown on this side of the palette. So I am going to steal a shade. I don't feel bad about this because if you have this palette, you're not just always going to stick to one side. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Martyr, and I'm going to put that right in my crease. I'm going to use a Chikahoto GSN 10. This is just a really fluffy natural hairbrush. And I'm just going to stick to my Sigma tapered blending brush. This is an E40 for whenever I want to blend out edges. This has become my favorite brush for like when you have a harsh edge and you just want to blend it out. This has just become a lifesaver. I love this brush for this particular use. 
And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone using that shade right there, Amen, which is just a nice matte cream shade. And for my lid color, I'm going to be using this green shade here called Immaculate. I have found that with the greens and purples on this side of this palette, they really pop when you use Fix Plus or some kind of setting spray and when you use them wet. When you use them dry, they do work, but they take a little building up and you can't get as intense. But if you use Fix Plus, you can get very intense with the color. So I'm going to use a MAC 242 and I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus and then I'm going to apply it to the first kind of two-thirds of the lid on either on either eye of course on either eye and we're gonna do two different looks today Actually going to go back into that original matte brown shade called Martyr, but I'm going to put it on a little bit of a smaller blending brush and I'm just going to blend out those edges. I'm going to use this shade Sanctuary in my outer V. It's a little bit of a satin. I'm going to kind of use it as I would use a matte. Normally I would go into a shade like this here, Crucifix, which is a matte brown, but this matte brown actually comes off on the lid like a black, and I don't want that. So I'm just going to go into Sanctuary on, again, a little bit of a smaller blending brush, and just pat that in the outer V, and kind of blend it in the outer V side of my eyeball. How do I describe that? You guys know what an outer V is. And then back into that shade Martyr, just to again blend out very lightly on a blending brush. Get a little bit more warmth and blend it out at the same time. And again, anytime it's looking too harsh, just I'm going in with the Sigma E40 and blending everything out. This has no product on it at all. It's just a clean brush that I'm using to blend out edges. So just want to kind of blend the green and the brown a little bit better together. I'm going to go back into that same brush I used the green on and just take a little bit of it on the brush, but I'm not going to wet it this time because I just want to extend it a little bit further from the green side to the brown side just to blend it. And if it's wet, it's just going to end up looking a little too harsh. So just wipe away all that fallout, all that excess powder. Cap on D shadows definitely are known for having a lot of fallout. This is no exception, this palette, um, but that's why I do the heavy powder under the eyes and it just makes it really easy to wipe it away after. For just a little bit of a pop of light in the middle of the eye, I'm gonna take the shade Absolution, which it's not really a shade per se. It's more of just like a glitter that's pressed. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and just tap it right in the middle of the eye. You could do this with glitter glue as well, and you would get a big pop of bright, well, I don't want to say bright light. It's glitter, right? Like you're going to see it more when you put a little bit of glitter glue under. And I have done that, so I know it shows up really nicely. But this, I just want the most subtle amount of lightness. So I think you can see there's a very slight difference between the two eyes. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to go back into that shade Sanctuary on just a little e.l.f. It's called an eye crease brush. It's just the tiniest little blending brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and bring it on kind of the outer one third of my lower lash line. And I thought it'd be fun to have a little pop of purple. So I'm going to go into the shade Rosary right here on a much smaller brush. This is the Morphe M149. And I'm just going to take that all the way across the rest of my lower lash line. And again, I'm going to blend that out with that shade Martyr on just a little bit of a bigger brush. This is the e.l.f. blending eye brush. 
and just run that under everything to blend it out. And I also noticed once I got close up to my mirror that I have a little glitter fallout from when I just placed that glitter on my eyelid. So sometimes it's good to have a mirror far away and another one close up because you notice different things. I'm gonna do a little bit of a winged eyeliner using the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Serum. It's in the shade Ultra Black. And then I'm gonna use the Ardell Wispies number 602 eyelashes. I'm just adding some cream colored eyeliner to my waterline. I just wanna brighten this eye look a little bit because it can be a little bit heavy and dark. So I'm using the Estee Lauder Eye Kajal. And then I'm just gonna apply some MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash to my lower lash. Zoomed you out a little bit again. I'm just gonna do the rest of my face. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of contour. This is the City Color Cosmetics Contour Effects 2. And it's just a really, really good shade for contouring your cheekbones. You need just the slightest little bit of this for it to go a long way. And for bronzing, I'm just going to use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends Natural Radiance Bronzer. This is in the shade 30 Sunkissed. I've really been enjoying this bronzer a lot. It's very natural. It blends really well. I think it might end up being a little bit too much for me once I kind of lose this color in my face come winter. But for now, I'm liking it. And for blush, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush Palette. And I'm going to use this shade here, which I believe is Euphoric Fusion. These blushes are so glowy, like just by themselves. They have such a radiance to them. But this one, even though it looks really dark in the pan, is just kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of more like a neutral blush that can go with a lot of things. It's a good fall blush, I think. I'm gonna highlight using my Smashbox Pearl Palette and I'm just gonna mix both of these shades together. I love the glow from this highlighter. Like it's not overly intense, it looks almost real, but yet it's still very glowy. <laughs> I'm just going to highlight using this shade here, highlight my inner corner um, using the shade Heaven, but I'm also going to fix plus that as well. Oh, okay. That was way more intense than I expected, but I'm going to go with it. Okay, a little bit more of a silvery inner corner than I thought I was gonna get, but there you go. I'm gonna try this today. I haven't worn this yet, so I don't know how it's gonna look, but this is from L'Oreal. It's the new Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Angora. I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk to line my lips first. Okay, it's not fully dry, but in terms of color, I think I like it. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know if it's making my teeth look super yellow or something, but I do like how it's kind of a fall look. So I hope you like this look. Here's the final look for your enjoyment. <laughs> so I tried my best to use only shades from the Saint side of the palette, even though I did have to cheat with the one shade. But like I said, if you have the palette, you know, you can use both sides, of course. We just wanted to try to do one Saint look and one Sinner look. And even though this is not like the most angelic look, I do really like it. I think it's really appropriate for fall. So I cannot wait to see what Alex has come up with because she does beautiful eyeshadow looks. So definitely go check out her video if you haven't clicked over there yet. I will put it down in the description bar below. But that's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you around in the future. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also, please let me know, is there any particular shades from this palette you would like to see me create looks with? I will be honest, I am so excited to use this blue and this gold, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I was immediately drawn to those once I actually saw them in person. So I have been playing only on the Saint side for the last couple days, and I cannot wait to get my hands on the center side and then kind of mix them all up together. So let me know if you would like to see more looks from this palette from me, and I guess that's it for today. So I love you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Please be kind to yourself. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>